this is round two it is currently saturday so you know i had to make a video before this and now we're making the last one so hopefully you know this will be the good one anyway what's going on everybody hope you guys are having a good one even though nine seven to ten hand no, it's not the case but hey you got to keep on thriving you got to keep on getting better got to keep on living once again this candle it's pretty sick I definitely recommend if somebody has a candle company that they want to, you know, promote their candles. I can definitely do that for them. Yeah, that'll be I, I can't wait to in the future when, you know, it's it's rolling. Everything's, you know, good and everything. And um, we get sponsors. That would be sick. Squarespace hit me up, man, because I have a crazy website that I made for you guys. And it, I, I digress. I digress. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. What's today's topic? You might ask how to gain knowledge about your offer if you don't know anything about it. Now, as a setter, this is huge, right? As a cold caller, you're trying to get into sales. You're trying to absolutely find a way, right? And don't one thing, you know, proceed with caution on this, right? I am still learning. I haven't done this for a while, so I'm still going through everything, all the motions as a cold caller and all that too. Right. But if there's one thing for sure, I definitely struggled with so much on. I was like talking to my sales manager. I was like, it's great and all, but I just don't know what I'm selling. Like, how how do you expect me to sell this if I don't know what I'm selling? Like, I don't understand it. I have a few topics we're going to go into to answer that. Jocko Willink, extreme ownership, personal problems tied with business problems. Next is surface level questions until you get to the right pain point and dive into it research your offer that would help <laughs> and then losses and wins in regards to talking to people on the phone so let's get into jocko willink and uh to give you a sort of a background jocko willink uh he was i probably i'm probably botching the name to be honest i have the book right here um extreme ownership and uh, basically what that book about was about um was just you know his time in the military but also the things he learned that he translated over to helping hundreds of businesses uh, worldwide you just solve the problems that they need to solve from extreme ownership from taking ownership for everything that you do and just the culture so with that being said why am i talking about that you're probably like you know i mean how to gain knowledge off of your offer what does that have to do with extreme ownership it has a lot so when he was going to these businesses i realized one thing when i was reading the book i was like he doesn't know shit about the industry he doesn't know a single thing about what they're doing he just knows about personal problems. He knows about leadership problems. He knows about exactly operational based problems and everything comes down to personal problems. Everything's rooted down to personal problems. 99% of business problems are personal problems because people have certain things in their mind that are holding them back from absolutely being productive, getting, you know, exactly the KPIs that you need to get and overall ending the quarters off immaculate right I'm using them big words <laughs> not nah, so um yeah it just comes down to that it comes down to you know the personal problems and understanding it when you're getting on the call you really need to understand that look at the end of the day either xyz signed up for something you might have bought the lead so they might not know who you are but at the same time you could easily find out if this is a problem for them and just in general this is how you segue into understanding what's going on with them. Because at the end of the day, I always remind myself I'm coaching, I'm not selling, right? Not to mention I have an opportunity for them that could change their life potentially. It's just a matter of time or a matter of the fact that do they realize that yet, right? So that comes down to a few things. And um, when we're talking about that surface level questions until you get to the right pain, what does that look like? So obviously you have your sales script, you're going through it and it has surface level based questions to kind of get an understanding, but you follow that script all the way down to the end. And you're hopefully trying to get a booking when you realize you were just asking, asking questions that had no context. So what does that look like? What does it feel like? You know, what is the pain points? You know, so say a surface level questions could be like, you know, I mean, how long you guys been running the business or how long have you been learning about X, Y, Z? And they're like, oh, for about a few, you know, not too long. I did it actually for about two years, you know, learning about trading. And you're like, okay, yeah, no, how how come it took you so long to, you know, more or less get guidance? And then, you know, they're like, oh, you know, it's just, I, I really 
thought I could do it on my own or I just, you know, I don't really want to pay for something like that. So you're like, okay, well, have you ever like actually invested in something in the past? Cause I know you just said you never really paid for something. So like, where are you at with that? They're like, oh yeah, I just, you know, I'm kind of scared to really go online and, and pay for stuff. Cause you know, I never know. And that's when you're just like, why is that though? Like, is there a specific reason Do you just not trust those people? And then they're like, oh yeah, this is the trust thing. Cause you know, there's a lot of people that are scamming and then, you know, I just really don't want to be that person, you know? And you're like, okay, no, that makes sense. I mean, you know, I wouldn't want to get scammed either. <laughs> I totally understand where you're coming from. So, you know, but obviously with this being said, whether you're hopping on the call and everything, like what is the, you know, initial reason why you wanted to even hop on this call in the first place? And now you're able to sort of dance around those surface level questions to get down to some sort of route. Because once they start telling you a little bit more, you're basically navigating it. That's exactly what Jack O'Willick was probably doing with the groups, with the companies. He was giving them, he had a surface level question and then he branched it down. So even down to, you know, like say B2B where they're just like, oh yeah, you know, we're, we're not, you know, right now, like we're looking into probably bringing someone on, but we just don't know. Like we're a small group. And you're like, okay, so like, when do you guys think you're going to scale? And they're like, oh, probably in a, in a few months, you know, probably about a year actually. You're like, why so long? Doing stuff like that, you'll automatically start getting an actual conversation out of them rather than them just saying that and you just moving on to the next question. So it'd be like, okay, how much are you looking to invest then? They're like, what? <laughs> you just asked me about how long we've been, you know, doing X, Y, Z. So it's really just getting to that curiosity mode. You're playing chess at the end of the day. You're playing chess. You're trying to strategically ask that question to deep dive into something more to see if there's some sort of opening that you can end up, you know, defeating the king or whatever. I'm not a chess guy, but I understand it a little bit. Research your offer. God damn it. Research your offer. That is something that I feel like people are just like, I just don't know. You know, I don't know my offer. How am I supposed to research your offer? At least take, you know, a day out of the week and uh, look at your offer. Learn about it. You know, find some cool things you could probably say in your call to make you sound a lot more expert. Like, you know, because at the end of the day, your job is not to teach them. Your job is to get them on the next call or qualify them. See if it even makes sense. So all that stems from is researching your offer, at least for a little bit. So you have some sort of context. So you're not walking in there blind and just, you know, at least having that, have that in your arsenal. There's so many different things you have in your arsenal. You can have a passive approach where you're kind of asking the questions I just said. You can have an authoritative approach where you're automatically coming off from the bat, you know, straight energy, straight tone, straight everything down to the diaphragm keyword. And you're, you're making the prospect so seem like it's like, oh, this guy is legit. You know, this guy's really about it. He's a sense of urgency. Boom, boom, boom. You know, so research your offer losses and wins. This is a little key thing you can do. Maybe if you have a lot more leads in your lead flow that you're willing to sacrifice. But, you know, maybe you're on a call with somebody and you just feel like it's going nowhere. But, you know, they have a good amount of knowledge and you're ready to, you know, probably hang up just because they're wasting your time. Right. What I usually do in this case scenario, and you know, this might be good or bad. I don't know, man. You know, everybody in the comments could probably be like, oh, this guy doesn't know what to talk about. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> anyway, so losses and wins. It really stems from asking these type of questions, right? Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, no worries. I mean, you know, just in general, though, because we really want to make sure, you know, our program is constantly learning, constantly getting better. We want to learn from the people that were interested and hear what maybe their losses or their wins were. And uh, just some things that they learned throughout their journey. You know, do you mind sharing that? Doing that allows them the opportunity to talk about themselves. And if they are, you know, if they have a good conversation with you already, prepare, prepare for all the losses and wins, right? Because write those things down. And then on the next call, when you have stuff, you have a whole list of different things that people have talked about. So you could be like, yeah, no, that's interesting you say that. You know, I was just talking to somebody about, xyz and they said you know a win that they actually had was because they used this strategy and you wouldn't have even known that right if you didn't ask that specific question so that's what's key about it that's what's pretty cool about it i've actually got a lot of 
more trust and honest people coming in where they're like okay you know he actually it seems like he's passionate and stuff like that and obviously i am because you have to be passionate about your you know offer if you don't feel like that offer is going to change people's lives there's no point but yeah i digress all that but yeah man i really hope you know you got a lot out of this i hope it was something that was beneficial to you and i hope it's something that you can you know take on your own accord and you can absolutely go kill it if you felt like mendoza this was straight trash this was terrible i didn't learn a single thing like why did i waste my time with you honestly you know i'm gonna send you a paypal um you know or a stripe link because you just wasted my time and my time is my money if you feel like that by all means i'm not gonna pay you but um definitely you know let me know what you guys think uh, i love the trajectory uh the trajectory this channel is taking and right now we invested in a pretty strong uh just figure out there that's already a few steps ahead of me that i'm looking to take this to a whole different level and i just have so much fun enjoying it if you have any questions and my biggest call to action for you guys the people that are watching if you need to be in a group to keep yourself floating to keep yourself going instead of sinking we're running an accountability group and with the military that's my biggest motto i love accountability because it is the original thing that absolutely changed my life two mentors took a chance on me and the rest is history and i wasn't even in sales i absolutely just realized you know when i'm around people that i respect and i value i'm gonna want to not let them down so if they tell me to do a task i'm gonna do it and that builds your discipline that builds all the tiny foundations that you need and that is the greatest way so basically we are the foundation for a lot of people that don't have a foundation and we are also the middleman to people that need access to different contacts different people and uh different places to get into so see that i just gave you value and for the people that don't need accountability i also gave you value too because we have people that you can talk to look at that look how it works it's crazy right yeah so call to action definitely check it out i'm gonna put it into the link below and um yeah aside from that from the top of war boundaries still don't exist the bottom of depths where life still lives do you dare to dream as a matter of fact do you dare to take the next step i'll see y'all later